so survivalist I've been playing for a little bit it's actually just um, when I saw the video for this it reminded me of a little bit of some of the Animal Crossing bits of it like you're going to an island obviously so that's a little bit of that but kind of like um, um, oh shoot what's oh my wife plays this game a lot so I can't think of it right now um, Stardew Valley so, so some of that and obviously this is the same team who's created the um, we have the survivalist the escapist one and two uh, my son's played those games and I've actually been kind of interested in those but this one intrigued me because you, you get stranded on an island and you go there and you have to use the resources to try to survive and it looked like it'd be cute and fun and a little bit easy well as I played this a little longer, or I started playing this, it's actually is not as easy as it looks. It, that it's uh, kind of deceiving in a way, uh, because there's some things you got to learn. There's a lot of crafting you can do, and um, I'll show you when we get in there too. But you basically are opening up your ability to craft things, and um, by what you do, by what you learn from building with your hands, and then you learn blueprints. And then you teach these monkeys and what to do. I haven't taught a monkey anything yet. I wanted to save it for when I was playing this game. Um, and so that way I could share it and try it out while I was recording this or while I was doing a stream. So with that, I'm moving the mic over here too so you can hear me. Uh, but basically what happens with the monkeys is you there's kind of like a record feature. The monkeys are kind of like your macros where you excuse me you teach the monkey you basically turn on turn on the recording to show the monkey what you got to do like if you want to teach the monkey how to chop down trees and gather materials from the trees that it's chopping down and bring them to storage you basically start the recording do that by yourself and then stop the recording and give them the tool to do that there's actually quite a few instructions that I have stay saved from pictures when I was playing it earlier too. So uh, as you can see there's a lot here going on. And I'll start with hit here where I was looking at actually the multiplayer aspect where you can play local wireless. Haven't tried that yet uh, but hoping to give that a try. And here's where you can set up your profile. Uh, and then it's kind of like a book you can flip between and right now I'm on the um, profile page where I can create my appearance and things uh, and then you can basically collect different lores and put it in your journal which this is your journal and in your journal also helps you look learn things about the island and what you do with the monkeys um, some more lore to go through well, that was an actual recording. Put a pin in that. Oh, so you can put a pin in the map. Uh, getting crafty. This So this is like simple items can be crafted with your hand. That's what you start off with is in the middle. You get a, a simple axe with st using stone and then you use grass to make a rope. And you can make a tool. Uh, uh, then you can make some hay bundles and a bed, it looks like. Remember quickly, and then every time you make something on those squares, those items that are that you see, those other dark squares will open up. And then you guys can't see what I'm pointing at, but that's basically um, it. So, yep. Um, and that same as with the blueprint. With when you create something on the blueprint, it'll open that up as well. The, the items around it. You have to eat to survive. So. There's some, uh, again, Minecraft elements to it. Uh, find Mysterious Shop. I did find the a thing about that, and I haven't found the Mysterious Shop yet, though. Selecting recipes, so I was able to learn how to cook um, as well in the campfire. And this is when I created the first axe, my hand axe. That's what it is. So I did that by hand. And it tells you again what you what you can do with that. And then I think this will show me. Nope, doesn't show what I opened up there. So, but 
Then uh, you, I had to learn how to make a bed so I could save the game. Uh, and then the buildings, of course, so I made the, the bed. And then behind there, you can see it's kind of grayed out. But that's some of the blueprints I started learning from starting with the bed. And this explains the bed a little bit more. Uh, again, it's telling me I gotta make sure I eat, otherwise I will die. <laughs> I can destroy things that I made uh, in case it gets in the wrong place. And it's reminding me I have to save. And so you, when you go to save, when you lay down, you can save, you can sleep, and then you can save and sleep. I haven't quite figured out exactly what the differences are other than you can save and then wake right up without, I guess, taking some of your uh, hung, your being hungry, I guess, or your health, I guess, if you want to call it that. So, because you wake up kind of hungry. Uh, so let's see. So, okay. So this is where you learn how to make some, some recipes in the campfire. So this is talking about some other things that I found on the island. And then this is the monkey helper stuff. So assign the roles in monkey mimic mode by holding ZL. And this is mon monkey mimic is the recording part. Uh, you received your first treasure map. So that gets added to the journal. Treasure maps are tracked in the treasure maps tab within your journal. By using the minus button here. Find the location shown to uncover lost treasures. I haven't done that yet either. So, and this is talking more about the mo monkey mimic than the map. Crafting bench. Um, so, crafting bench. Monkeys can mimic your actions to utilize crafting benches for crafting recipes. Placing a monkey in a mimic mode, then deliver recipe item to the crafting bench. Have them deliver ingredients for you. I haven't done that yet either. So, I just got started in opening a lot of this stuff up. You can limit the number of items, stay hydrated. Uh, I was some uh, message in a bottle I found on the beach that gives me little hints as well. This is, uh, I was going around the island looking for things here. So, and, oh, there's one more. Low health. So just basically telling me what I have to do. All right, let's get back to playing survivalist. So I can show you. There's my monkey. And then there's a timeline too of after so many days on the island, things grow back so that a lot of the resources get replenished, which I thought was kind of cool. There's my uh, workbench. I'm gonna chop down this tree so you guys can see. And uh, you can see down here, down in the bottom middle there, my hand axe takes damage. So you, you have to recraft things after your items have been damaged. So and these are all the things I can pick up. Oops, I didn't want to open that yet. That's a that blue item there that I'm standing on. That's a, a bed I can actually make. These are the items I need in order to make that bed. And then I place this. This is my first bed. That's where I can go to sleep now. I actually placed this is my first one, and I didn't know I could place it here. <laughs> uh, there's a tree stump blocking my way, and apparently once I get a shovel, I can actually dig that up, and it'll be a, the tree won't grow there anymore in my way. But here's my workbench. These are all the items I can craft. There's a lot to do here. Looks like I can craft a bow. Oh, I need a stick and I need some dirt. Is that what that is? Missing recipe. Alright, let's pick those up. And then so you can see on the left side there with my heart, that's where I'm starting to get hungry. Um, as soon as that goes out, then the, the red around the circle, around the heart will start uh, going down. It'll deplete. On the right side is my energy. And that's when if I start running too much, you'll see my energy go down. See? And I'll get tired. Before I go out, I'm going to get some berries first. Let's see. 
I don't have my stick anymore. I should probably get one of those. Um, can I make that? Wooden rod. Let's do that. I needed, what did I need? I needed this. One of those. Wooden rod. And I need dirt. I don't even know where to get the dirt from. I don't think I got that far yet. Can I make a spear? Might be able to make a spear. Let's see, I need to make a slab. Nope, I need to find that. I'm gonna cancel that for now. All right, let's do this. Oh, I guess that's not a weapon. Let's look at a. Nope. Oh, so these are my blueprints. Uh, I got more things that opened up here. So a lightweight bed. Still some items I'm gonna need here. I think the green means I can make those. So again, I'm still learning a lot of what this does. I can do this to sail to other islands if necessary. So I haven't done that quite yet. Uh, let's see. That's what I was looking for, a club. I created the wrong thing. Cool hand, tool handle, new craft. So let's take a look and see what my crafts are. I can make a torch. That'll come in handy for the caves I came across. All right. Hmm. Let me put some things away so I have room in my pocket here. So let's go down to here. I'm gonna put the charcoal away. And keep that for crafting. I'm probably gonna eat those shortly, so I'll be done with that. Transfer? No, I don't want to transfer. So let's go over here. Let me get some. I'll eat those coconuts there. And let's see what I got here. Let's do the torch. Oh, I need the charcoal again. Of course I do. Uh, let's see. One, I think I needed only two, so let's do that. There we got one torch. Okay, there's the handle. Oh, that's right, I was going to make that. There we go. That's what I needed. Oops. Here's the berries. Alright. Now I can get some berries. I think. Let's move some of these items so I can pick up those berries. Cause I'm gonna need those. Let's put these petals in there. So I'm just transferring by using the X. So I can transfer the whole thing over. I don't need to carry all the grass with me, I don't think. I'll keep that there. All right. Now I can go get those berries. Oops. I gotta pick up 
the grass. I don't have pocket space. Oh, look, there's another message in a bottle. Treasure map has been added to your journal. Let's take a look at the journal. So my monkey's all the way down there. That's good, I can see him on the map. All right, so. There's my map. There's my monkeys. There's the treasure maps, tutorials. So these are the different things I've been learning about. Mystery of the Ruins is the new one here. Captain, I need to talk to you. Remember when we were in Kraken Salt? Turns out there's a, a ruins there containing the flimsy pickaxe we heard talk of. I know where what your intentions are. If you take it, you'll be walking the plank. All right. So I haven't gotten that far yet, but I've been learning about these different things. Let's see now. Now I got a torch. Hopefully, it... I wonder if it will light up at all or. Oh, I need to. I can't pick up the bat wings. Okay, let me drop this. I can't remember how to drop. Cause they make good, they could make good food. Which reminds me. Okay, good. I can put the torch out. Oh, dog gun it. food going on here. All right, now I need to get back and cook something. It's not run because I need food soon. All right, let's add this. Choose a recipe now. See, I can make crispy wings. I can make meat ke kebab. A meat kebab. Two meat kebabs, but I don't have those. I have these. And then a fruity kebab. Kebab. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Let me make some of these. I have ten of those. Um, add. Craft. Oops, I need the multi to do the tool to do that. Eat some fruit. That'll give me room to cook up all this stuff. Cause I need some health. Two more after this. 
That way I can have them in my pocket. And my monkey's just running around like crazy, waiting to learn something. I had to rescue him, actually. He was in a cage. Not sure how he got in the cage yet, but he was in a cage. And that's why he follows me around. I just haven't found the right thing to teach him yet, too, so... Um... I don't know, is anybody watching who's played this yet or interested in getting this and checking, wanting to check this out? Alright, got, got those going. So now I can cancel that. Now let's make some wings. I'll add that and craft it. Making some wings. Actually sounds kind of good even though it's almost one o'clock in the morning here. Alright. Add and craft. Okay, and let's see. Trying to get use of all this stuff I have in my pockets. All right. All right, now let's get this other stuff out. Where's my pockets? It's not going to do me any good there. And then let's eat something. Yummy. All right, let's go now figure out uh, let me go back to here let me go back to my pockets for a second because so I want to move you move stack to here there we go should move this here. Wooden rod is fine there. I want to move this over here. And move this over here. Whoops. I didn't know that was going to swap, but that's good to know. So I'm pressing Y and moving this over to the boxes that I want. Torch is fine there. I'm gonna move this over here. Whoops. Just kind of organizing my pockets. All right, now let's see if we can go back to that cave. Cause I want to see if I can get further in here. sure what the uh, maximum is that I can carry. Let's see. Some bones. I haven't found that yet. That looks creepy. Should I even go in there yet? I think I'm not going to go in there yet because I think I want to make a weapon out of the bone first. Let me go back over here. I think there's some more pebbles? No? Okay. So let me go out of here. I'll pick up the grass I left here. I apologize, my phone is making my microphone go a little crazy there. Alright, let's turn off the torch. Turn it off. <laughs> Look, it's a flashlight. But I know it's called a torch over on the other side of the pond, so... Hey. Alright, let's run back over here. So we got some bone. Oh, there's another message in the bottle over here. Go grab that. 
treasure map has been added. Let's check it out. So we got treasure map, last seen at the graveyard. So lightweight pickaxe. So not flimsy, lightweight. That's good. Um, oh wait, no, I was there. I hear a well-protected lightweight pickaxe is at the graveyard. Who knows how easy it'll be to get. Yours, the only one who knows it. What's really going on around here? Okay. I know exactly where that's at. Let's go check that out before I go back. Let me eat something. And then let me get my club wet ready. And let's run over here. Oh, can't run between those. Try to find the way to the graveyard. Hey, bunnies. Wait, where's the graveyard? Those bunnies are fast. Can you dig it? Looking for mud or sand? Use a shovel while in the grasslands or in the beach. Shoveling in the hotter, drier areas will uncover pebbles. Okay. Some tips from that. Now I know I saw the graveyard around here somewhere. There it is. Carry. Nothing on this guy. Alright. Let's carry this over here. Bring it back over to me. Over to my campgrounds. I'm surprised I'm not losing stamina trying to do this. And whoever the one viewer is left, thanks for st sticking around. Let's drop that there. Alright. Well, that's there in case I can figure out how to open that up. Alright, so... Let me go back. Let me save. Actually, before I save, let me do this. I can't pick that up yet. Cancel that. Let's go over here. I need to make room, so... Pick up this, and then put this over here. I need some more rope. So let's do this. Oops. Stocking up on the rope here. Building up on the rope here. Cause I'm gonna need a lot of rope probably for different things. Plus, I'm gonna make room in my pocket. Oh, I'm out. Okay. So let's do this. Put you in here. Okay, we got some rope. Let's look at the recipes. What called for bone? 
three bones. I got two. I need to find another bone. All right. Get you out of the way. Let's go. Let's save this. Save and sleep. I need to eat. Yes, you do. Let's eat some meat. All right. So we did that. Oh, that's right. I was going to do a recording here. I'm going to get the uh, monkey to do something here. I think I need to make another axe first. I need to do one of these. Okay. So let's do this. Because I wanted to show... I, I haven't done this yet, so... Where's the monkey at? Come here, monkey. Where are you going, monkey? Wait, okay, come on. Follow me. Follow player. Okay, there we go. Now I got him to follow me. Jeez. All right. Take a drink of my Kool-Aid. <clears throat> Come on, monkey. Let's start over here so I can show you what to do here. <clears throat> All right. Let's do this. Mimic player action. Okay, so let's do this. I wasn't done, dude. Where are you going? Well now, okay. I don't have any pocket spaces for everything here. Well, I got him to chop down all the trees. <laughs> okay, let's see now. Let's move some of this stuff because I can't do anything with it yet. Keep that. Now I can get this other stuff. in the boat. Alright, so let's add those to my stockpile then.
So this is a lot of resource management, I guess. So let's see if I can teach this monkey to do something else with his, the tool that I gave him. What is that? Nothing to do. Follow player. If I give him a club, he'll, he'll, I can teach him how to fight. Zero viewers, no! <laughs> oh well. Well, now I'm back to two viewers. Okay, did I go offline or something? I've been on for two hours now. I guess I'm just practice for, uh, for extra life. We'll be doing that uh, the weekend of November 7th. We'll be doing it all weekend long, so it'll be me and the other Nintendo dads playing different games. So, and then hopefully get some of the community to play with us too at certain times through the night and day. So, we'll have that. So two, uh, two viewers and no viewers. All right. There's still a lot to learn in this game. I think I'm gonna probably stop with this for now. Um, but while I'm saving this, let me mention one thing here. Because I haven't been able to talk about it much, but um, let's go to the details here. So one of the reasons why I wanted to get this game too before I go is to mention that uh, one of the reasons why I wanted to get this was because it's you can do multiplayer. So um, I was hoping to get to try this with my wife. I actually got her to try this game, and I've, I'm hoping to do that the next time, to where I'll be able to come down here on here and play on on my side and have her join. Uh, so I'll host. Um, but you build together and survive together, complete joint adventures, gain loot, trade, and ultimately survive together as you and up to three fellow castaways explore on an island paradise. In fact, uh, Nick from Nintendo Dads, uh, Nintendo Dads, or Nintendo Dad Crossing, duh. <laughs> Nick from Dad Crossing, one of our other uh, podcasts, uh, offered to play too. So I'm hoping to get him on board too. Uh, it says get crafty. The secret to survival is to make the most of the resources around you. Run the gauntlet looking for an epic sword to hang on your hut wall or want to lay waste to encroaching hostiles. Encroaching hostiles. What you seek could be in one of the many labyrinths scattered around the island. That's what I was hoping to do in the, in the uh, one area too. And you know what? Before, before I go, I saved it. So I got a weapon. Let me get the monkey weapon. So let me, I can craft it without the workbench. I can't do that, so I need a rope. What did I need? I need uh, the leaves and the ropes. Okay. Two of those, one of those, and a rope. Okay. So let me do that. Transfer one, create, and swap. You know what, I'll give him the old one. And then I'm going to put the axe away, hand axe, and then let's Move. It's Y. No. Uh, move. Move stack is Y. It's not what I wanted to do. Okay, move that over there. All right. 
now. Follow me, monkey. One thing I'm gonna do here when we go into that labyrinth, while I check out this game. Hello everybody who's joining, I'm just playing the survivalist on the Nintendo Switch. Let's uh, start the torch up. I wanna teach the monkey how to battle. First I gotta get him to follow me to something where I can show him how to battle. Imagine I'll be able to teach him in here. Oh. I thought that was going to be like something much more interesting than this. But, well, this is interesting too. What did I just set off here? Interesting. Nothing there. Nothing there. Oh, look at that. I don't have room in my pockets though. But I need to eat something. So, let's see. Let me eat all my berries. So I can make room in my pocket. Alright, now, let's see now, I think I can get this monkey to move here on this. Come on, get closer. No! Why can't I get you to stay on there? Okay, there. No. No. Darn you, monkey. Okay, so you stay there. Come here, monkey. Uh, let's see. I just want you to stand on here. you to let's see mimic player action I want you to stand here okay can you do that no Stand here. Why won't you stand there? Alright. I'm just gonna go see if I can figure this out here. Alright, let's get this my club out. Tutorial complete. All right. Uh, there I can pick up those and eat those, and pick up the pickle again. I thought we were gonna have to stand on them both together.
quickly while it's green. There it is. All right. And the monkey's over there before I carry that. The monkey's just like tearing down stuff everywhere. Resources. Oh, there's the... I've got it. Than bats. All right, so let me get rid of this again. Of course, another bat coming out of nowhere. All right, I'm gonna turn the torch off. I don't need it. Let me set this down. set down the tool as well because I need food more. And I have one of these left. So let me eat that for health and I can pick up the tool again. Or the handle. Where did my monkey go? Where did you go off to, monkey? Oh my gosh. Monkey. Where are you, monkey? I open up something else on my map? The world has been replenished. Okay, so replenishment means that all the stuff that has been broken down is regrown again. Especially closer to my area. Alright, I can't pick up the berries. But I can certainly pick up all the wood pieces. Where's that monkey at? Where'd he go? Oh look, another ruins thing. Diary entry. New lore entry. So, let's go take a look. Sergeant Randy Gunner, Part 8. Well, where's the other chapters? <laughs> Alright. Where'd the monkey go? My monkey friend must have... Did he go back? Oh, he's down over here. There you are. A player. So let me do this. Mimic player action. See what I was doing there, monkey? 
I'll have to figure that out more. All right, monkey did not mimic me picking up all the supplies. I'll have to get back to that. And I gotta figure out how to unlock these chests that I found. This is the second one I found. I wonder if I just beat him up. We'll find out. Let's drop it. Oh yeah. There we go. Sturdy multi-tool. Okay. Let's empty out some of my stuff here. So I got room in my pockets. Put that over there. Oops. There we go. Got another torch though, that works. Sturdy multi-tool. Awesome. Well, that's pretty cool that I found some of those chest stuff in that chest. What else, what else do I get over here? Empty my pocket some more. Let's go put that over there. And then move stack over. And move this over here. Whoops. For the bone here, the flowers, and now let's there we go. I can make that weapon. I got a third one. So this is definitely not a fast-paced game. But you get little bits here and there from the survive, surviving and stuff. And it helps you move on to the next phase of the game, I guess. Or find some new things. Like a pickaxe. So I got those from the treasures I found. Which is awesome. And I have some wings. Alright, and I'm gonna save and call that the night. So I've been doing this for a couple hours now. A lot, a lot took a lot longer than I thought it was gonna take. Playing Survivalist. Again by Team 17. Thanks to them for giving us a code to this as well actually gave us two codes which I'm very appreciative of um, one for me to play and then one so uh, my wife could play which I thought was really cool so that we can get used to the game and then try it out for ourselves uh, together doing multiplayer so I'll report more on that too again on the Nintendo Dads podcast uh, thanks for everybody who stopped by and those who were here earlier and uh, looks like I have one viewer now thanks for coming over to watch me play and until next time, this is Tim signing off. Check you later.